So, <clears throat> hi, Dino Pinch back in the handyman zone. I promised you all when I got this split arm operator in the mail, I would show you how to put it on. I I'm going to link to part two, uh, part one, or A, part A, of this video series on replacing the operator, the crank, on an Anderson, although other windows are similar, on an Anderson casement window. And part A, I'm linking right here, we removed the old one, identified it, and ordered the new replacement one from Anderson, 1-800-ANDERSON. And um, they do have a nice warranty. It's like 20 years. So uh, it, there's a good chance, although this was like a $43 part, there's a good chance it could be warrantied if you call customer service and um, speak to them. They're very nice over there, very efficient. So let's, uh, let's show you what's going on. We're going back over here, okay? This is the box that came from... Um, all right, and now here they call it a split arm operator because it has this uh, split arm here. Serial numbers are located here and also underneath here. So that's how when you order it, you use the serial number because they're different. Even though uh, like this window has two windows, it's a left and a right, the operators are different. One won't fit the other. The new replacement operator comes, the operator, it comes with a new cover and it comes with uh, screws. It doesn't come with the handle, it doesn't come with the screen, it doesn't come with the window, it doesn't come with anything else. It comes with what you see there. So this is the one we were dealing with. I, I taped the handle so the kid, because it's kid's room, I didn't want him like opening it. Uh, because see what happens, it opens and, but you can't close it because there's no handle, so he would have been freezing. It's 18 degrees out today. So we're going to remove the screen by pulling these two things open. You kind of lift the screen up a little bit. And then you can take the whole screen out, set that aside. And we left the handle and we left some of the hardware in there. Now, last week we just put this trim piece back and we left it loose. So I'm just going to lift that off there. Today we're going to be putting a couple of nails to hold it in. Here's the old cover, okay? And, um,. And uh, we left some screws and stuff in here that we're not going to need today. But, uh, alright, so, there we go. We're going to show you guys how to install this split arm operator. Oh, always ruining my videos. So, we're basically going to put it in place, uh, lining up these screw holes. Okay. You can see the one, two, three. And it is one, two, three. Oh, the third one is hidden under the... Uh, under the arm but we can put the we can put the handle on to move the arm so we're gonna match up I'm gonna put in the screws the hardware and I'll be right back with you two screws in to get to the third screw we have to we have to move the arm a little bit to get to that third screw hole it's right there Great, 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 great. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is put this operator arm. Now this is a locking clip, it slides back and forth. We're gonna put it over the, by manipulating the arm and or the window. We're gonna put this clip We're gonna put this clip over the pin there. Okay, with the clip back over the pin and then we can slide this clip and most of the time you need something to help you slide it like a screwdriver. Okay, see it's locked in there now. The clip is locked in and this arm can't come off. So that's basically the installation. At this point what we're gonna do is put the wooden trim back on 
but not nail it in place yet. Just kind of place it in place. We're going to take our new cover. Okay, there's the new cover. We're going to slide that in place. We might need a little room to do that. Then put the wood trim. Okay, now the last two screws they give you, which have finished heads to match. Put these two screws in. I put the handle on and tightened up that screw temporarily, just because we're going to check for a proper operation. And what I want to do is when the window is closed and locked, I want this handle oriented down when the window is closed, like like we have this one. So after I close the window, I can turn the handle to down. Okay, so I, I have it set up so when the window is closed that it, it would be down. We're just gonna open this up. The only lube that you can use on these windows is like a dry lube, like a silicone, okay? You never, never, ever want to put WD-40 on anything like this. Because WD-40 is oil, and it's going to dry. It's not going to dry. It's always going to be oily, and dust and dirt is going to be attracted. So we want to use silicone, and you would want to, like, use the movement points and this track here. This silver thing is a track. So we want to get... And then the top two. Oh, great. I'm looking through the camera and I get silicone all over the glass. All right, so that's about it for the lube. This window closes nice. I have to realign that handle. I have to take it off and turn it 180 degrees. All right, uh, we're going to put the screen back in. In uh, installation of all of that stuff is uh, reverse of removal. When we have our wood trim in exactly... The position that we want it we're going to put a couple of finish nails in there just to uh, secure it in place and we're going to use the old nail holes from when we took it out okay and you could even like lift this up a little bit if you wanted to and just make sure that the uh, nails go in the old holes and that way it's all done and that's it so uh, don't forget to put the screen in Thanks for watching, guys. Share this video. Sub to my Handyman Zone channel. Give me a like if you liked it. And um, use the comment box below for any questions or comments. Thanks for watching, my YouTube friends. Your full YouTube partner, Dino Pinch in the Handyman Zone, is saying, see you later.